Are you a new owner of this tent, the Hilleberg Enan? Are you thinking about buying one? Or maybe you have been using it for a while but struggle to get a good pitch every time. Well, today it is all about this tent and how to pitch it perfect every time along with a few bonus tips. Hi and welcome to a new episode and today it is all about Enan. I've been a user of this tent for a couple of years now and it is truly a great tent. It is lightweight enough to be used as an ultralight tent and storm worthy enough to be taken on the most challenging trips. Despite being a small tent with an extremely small footprint, it has also a lot of good and usable space like the vestibule is also large enough for cooking and gear and it has also a couple of pockets inside and I would say it's a perfect tent for one person or one person with a small dog. And above all, it is really easy to set up and to get a good pitch. But I know, a lot of people are struggling to get a good pitch on this tent. And it is not uncommon to see questions on how to pitch Enan and how to get a good pitch. So, yeah. That is why and the reason for today's episode on how to pitch Enan. And if you just follow these five simple steps I'm about to show you, you will get the perfect pitch on this tent every time. Step number one is, of course, as always, to find a good place to pitch your tent. <laughs> that could sometimes be really hard and a bit of a challenge. Well, anyway, when you have found your perfect spot to pitch your tent and have cleared the area from sharp objects, loose branches and pine cones, well then, step number one is always to pitch the tent with the wind in your back. This because this tent is a tunnel tent and it is much stronger taking the hard winds from the ends and not from the sides. If you have the wind in your back, it is also much easier to fold out the tent. If it is really windy, you can also attach the tent to your backpack in the first step, minimizing the risk of it blowing away. In this position you also have the possibility to open or close these storm flaps but I recommend you to only close them in really bad conditions with heavy rain and a lot of wind. Otherwise I recommend you to keep them open for better ventilation and to prevent condensation. Now put the two stakes into the ground in the metallic rings and do pitch them quite stretched and tight and not too loose. This way the tent is secured and will not blow away, hopefully. On step two, we change sides and roll out the tent. And in the end, pick up the tent poles that you have rolled in together with the tent when you pack it and place them nearby. Now grab the tent in the metallic rings and stretch the tent out. Now don't put in any stakes just yet. You can do it of course, but I find it more difficult to get the pole in if I do. Now go to the side where the door is and you can see the difference pretty easy. On one side you only have a pocket on the sleeve for the tent pole and on the other side an opening on the sleeve and an adjustable seat or cup for the tent pole. Now in this position you unfold your tent pole to the full length and start pushing it into the pole sleeve. Now be sure to push the pole in and not to drag the pole in. Otherwise there is a risk of the poles to, to separate a little bit and the risk of the pole to break becomes really high. So be sure to do that and me I have to be extra careful because the shock cord inside my tent pole is old and a little bit well not so stretchy anymore so I have to be extra careful. When you see the pole is in the pocket on the other side you can hold onto the sleeve and push the pole in and stretch that sleeve and in the end be able to put the end of the pole down in the dedicated cup. Now tighten the cup making it snug against the outer. Now let's move to the side we haven't pegged down yet and grab the metallic rings and lift the tent up and stretch the tent making the tent pole rise and stay up. While being stretched and in a good and straight angle towards the pegs on the opposite side, you push down one peg in each of the metallic rings. Now the tent is secured and will not go anywhere for sure. One thing to add is that you should push the pegs all the way down into the ground and in a 45 degree angle. The only thing that you should see when the pegs are in the ground is the small tip where the guy line sits. Now while in this position you also stake down 
the ends and the small glass fiber pole that is inside the tent to get this small triangular shape. You should also make sure that the guy lines are as long as possible so that you can tighten the guy lines later on if you need. Now I have changed side to the opposite side to stake down the other glass fiber pole. And it is actually just doing the exact same thing. Put the peg down, tighten the guy line, and now the tent has its final shape. The tent is now pitched and ready to use. And if there's no wind like today, there's really no reason to put in the remaining pegs to secure the additional guy lines. But if the weather is worse than it is today, and maybe you believe that it's going to be a change of weather during the night, well, then I do recommend you to also stake down the remaining guy lines, just to be sure. Here you shouldn't over tighten the guy lines and then with the risk of deforming the arc pole, but keeping it slightly stretched and secured. Now that we have pitched in on properly and perfect. There's also some features that you should know about that could help a lot in different scenarios. In bad weather, it is a good idea to close the storm flaps where the mesh is to block the wind and the rain. In stronger winds and bad weather, you can also attach additional guy lines in the ends. Here you can clearly see the two loops where to put them. When doing so and when using all the guide points, Eanon has 12 pegs into the ground, securing it and making it a very storm resistant tent. Now this is Eanon's weak point for sure, and it is very difficult not to get any condensation in this tent. But there is a few small things that you can do to make it better. If it is not raining, always keep the door open, and since the Eanon has a two-way zipper you can open only slightly at the top while sleeping letting a little bit of more air in for better circulation and less condensation leave the storm flaps open always if it is not really bad weather closing them well it is like begging for condensation choose your camp spot yep make sure that you choose a spot with the possibility to get some air in for good circulation and also away from water and moist areas Doing so makes it a lot better, but of course that is true for all times. I hope with this little video and the five steps to pitch in on correctly, I made it easier for you who are new to the tent and also you who struggle a bit to pitch it correctly. Inan is a remarkable tent and I love it. It is a great choice for one person or maybe one person with a small dog and a tent with a good space that are lightweight and that can resist really harsh weather. If you have any questions regarding this tent, maybe if I wasn't clear enough during the video, or if you have additional questions that I didn't talk about during this episode, please feel free just to leave a comment down below or contact me in any way possible. And of course, I will then also try to come back to you as soon as I can, as always. But for now, if you like this episode, take a look at these two recommendations on my other videos. Also do hit like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. I also hope to see you again next week. Happy hiking and bye bye!